guys today's video is going to be a well my book collection um i'm currently trying not to move because my books are right in near me here as you can see there's kind of one there um and they're in piles so i'm trying not to move to like knock the piles down um so yeah also don't mind if my glasses get foggy i'm currently boiling because it is warm in my room so don't mind that also don't mind the massive pile of pillows behind me um i just threw the pillows on my bed um this morning because i couldn't be bothered to make my bed fully with all the pillows plus i just wanted to to film this um this is getting pre-filmed like a month or so i want to say like a month or so before this gets uploaded um but i want to say it's probably actually like a week um before this is being uploaded um so yeah um with these books um i've got two that i'm currently reading basically i've got piles if you guys can see um that is my phone <laughs> um these are books i've read which are like romancy kind of books um i've got well that's just a random whoops um i've got like romancy um crime kind of random genre kind of books um here and um, behind this stack i've got books that i'm currently reading or i've started but haven't finished um i've got this which is just like my book tracker kind of thing and where i rate my books and then these are all my random books that i've owned and i thought why not include them so yeah so i'll move this back up to me i'm sorry if the angle's gone <laughs> weird again um but yeah so obviously i do have um like my decorational books um like my dior prada and chanel i think the other one is um they're not currently out displayed um they're in my like, storage bag with, with these go in um but yeah i have them as well still but i'm not going to show them because i read them once and i use them for decoration <laughs> well they were mainly used for decoration anyway um but yeah so i'll go through all my random ones first which i've just had and that and then i will then go through all my like romancy kind of ones that i've been getting into um which have actually started me to be re starting which have started me to read again start reading again which have made me to start reading again um but yeah so my pile and that these books aren't in this these don't get rated um this i got for my christmas christmas or birthday i can't remember of my sister which is just a philosophy of sloths um i thought i'd include this one in this um but yeah there's like a quiz in it as well i can't find a page that has a quiz oh here you go quiz kind of stuff so i've put all like my answers and stuff in the back on some post-it notes um but yeah and so there's that um, and then I have, oh this isn't even in order, um, I've got The Secret, I started reading this because um, I wanted to, I can't speak, I wanted to see what it was like um, because one of the YouTubers I watch, Gemma Louise Miles, um, always talks about like manifestation and stuff and The Secret, well I think she was on that the secret i think and she read it i think um so 
I decided to get the book and read it. I think there was like a movie or like TV, like documentary kind of thing on it once. Um, I haven't watched it. Um, but yeah, also don't mind my cupboard being open. I just realised that while well, looking through my other mirror. Um, it's open because I left it open from getting all my like romancy kind of books out. Since I've used one of like my little cubby holes um, as my bookshelf. So don't mind that. Um, but yeah, so I got this one. And then I don't actually know which one's <coughs> next. But there's five in like the series because there's the power i'm gonna need to look up which one it in order it is but i've read all of these books anyway i've got the secret of the power hero um the magic and then the greatest secret um which were actually quite good um it did take me a while to read some of them because I'd always read a bit and then end up stopping because I'd get like bored of reading it to then have to read again. But yeah, so I got them. And then I had to include this one, which I've had since I was a little kid. Um, I've got the Milky Bar Kid, The Rescue. Um, my mum has literally just written my name in the book that way. But the main reason I wanted to show this is my name is actually in the book is one of them books that you can buy for your kids um and have their name in it so yeah i have mine in the milky bar kid um in a book so i thought why not show it and i'm keeping this forever um but yeah so i got that I think I've, I've read it, I, read, I think I read it a lot when I was younger. Since being here, um, I've read it like a few times. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sorry. I think I read it once when I was in secondary or primary. I just decided to read it because I got bored and I was like, you know what, I'll read a random book and that was the one I picked out. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> With more books i've got miss hinch book this is me yes the um this the eye in this is going well to be honest all the silver writing is going um i think it's because it's been some of the other books have like accidentally scratched against it um but yeah so i've got this one and that i got this because i'm I actually enjoy cleaning so I got this as a gift so I can read about it and I also want some more of her books and then on to last year of primary so year six um the this author actually come into my school well came into my year um to talk about this these books and then like that weekend or so he was in the waterstones near where i live in town and was signing these books so i went with my dad and got both of them and signed them and got them signed for me so i've got one that says the first one says to samantha always follow your dreams with a star and then his signature which is the first frog one and then there's frog and the sand spider of adrian or whatever it says um which then says do something never lose your imagination and that's so yeah obviously these i've got to keep because they're signed for me um i read them when i got them and i wasn't really that into it into these um at the time but what i might do is try reading them again to just to see if i start liking them more and i'm more into them now so these might be left out but yeah i got these and that is 
more of my like randomy kind of ones that I own and that talking through this book quickly um well it's not really a book it's like a binder kind of folder thing I had I bought this like book washi tape just to put around this and some of the pages in here I did run out so I need to buy some more <laughs> to go on them pages but in here oh, I've also got this like keep your heart in a book sticker um I've got a pen just attached even though the pen runs out a bit I got these cards um which I put like a glittery tape at the bottom which has like series and the books in the series and what order they go in which I actually put in the first card in the first book just so I can know the order of the books and everything um I've got this book picture thing then I've got my 101 like tapes book tabs which I literally just use to highlight like a word or a sentence that I like and it never comes out on the edge of the book it always stays inside of the book um, because I don't like the look of it coming out and then I've got my today thing which is actually bigger than the whole thing um, but yeah and I'm still on the first page of this so that's why it is at the front and then I've got all my books listed here um, it says TikTok book reviews um, most of these I have got off TikTok and um, that's why it says TikTok book reviews um, most of these I've seen and been recommended from TikTok um, people on TikTok so yeah I've just been like scrolling through booktok and I've seen a book and I'm like oh that'd be cool so I've added it to like an Amazon wish list to then order it when I need to and when I'm running out of books to read so I won't be ordering any more books for a while but yeah I've got some of my books here and that there's like three on here which need to be um, reviewed once I finish reading them and read them anyway and that but yeah obviously I don't know I, I haven't said it in a while anyway but if you have watched some of my earlier videos this year um, or vlogs then you would know that I'm doing trying to read 12 books this year I keep looking down there because it that's literally where my like tracker is a mum book eight out of the 12 and that literally goes with the month that i'm filming this in with august um i chose 12 because then i could read a book a month um but yeah june i've read two books so i kind of skipped in july of reading um but yeah i at least want to read 12 books this year just to help me start getting into reading um but yeah because i did start doing some of my reading last year like summer last year and i read like one book and then yeah oh this is my book collection why am i talking so much about random stuff but yeah so i'm on book eight currently out of the 12 hopefully i actually achieve it um but yeah so the first ever book I got which I actually read last summer was this one the unhoney blah, blah, the unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren um and it was great I rated this a four out of a five four out of five stars um purely because it was the first book I read so I didn't really have much to base it off um so I was like I loved the book but I didn't want to give it an immediate five stars um so I went with four and that which I don't know after reading some other books I don't know if I'd stick to that now or I would change it um but yeah this is the first one I got these are all I'm going through all the books that I've actually read so far so yeah then next load is the hopeless 
series by Christine by Christina no Colin Hoover Colleen yeah Colleen Hoover sorry if I'm pronouncing any names wrong so it's hopeless losing hope finding Cinderella and finding perfect um I got these and yeah so with these I've got the hopeless kind of series thing taped here and that's so it should be easy to like, take off if I ever want to take it off or not but yeah so I've got these hopeless I rated three out of five losing hope was also a three out of five and I rated them them because it was so I mainly rated it then because it took me so long to read them because I'd always read a part of it and then I'd kind of get bored of reading it to then have to start up again um, from where I left off and that so that's why I've rated them three out of five um but yeah maybe that could change later on or not I'm not sure and then finding perfect and finding Cinderella I rated five um, I don't know. These are also the two books that I ended up reading in June, um, which <clears throat> I just bashed out in the same month. Um, but yeah, mainly because they're small as well. But I read these. They didn't take me that long. And I was also hooked on them when I was reading them, and I'd read them for like ages. And that, so yeah. Uh, I loved these which also went along with that book um, and then I've got another Colleen Hoover book um, This, th these are the only five Colleen Hoover books I have and then this one's All Your Perfects which I rated da, 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 three because it also took me a while to get through <laughs> um, and that's but yeah so just that and then last but not least out of the books I've read is Until I Meet You which I loved I also rated this a 4 because this was also around the time that this was the third book I had started reading but the second book I had finished um, so I rated it a four, but I loved this book. Um, but I was like, I'll rate it a four until I know, until I've read like a good amount of books to be like, okay, now if I need to adjust any of the reviews or, well, ratings out for me, then I can after I've read like a good amount of books. Also, I love this book because um, the female character is literally has my name so it is great so I kind of even though they obviously do have a different skin tone to me I could literally pretend I was the main character in this book um but yeah and then also the boy's name is literally a boy's name I love which is Roman um and I've loved that, that name so yeah so it, it was quite cool um also this did not take me that long to read in that even though it was like a thick book um because I was kind of like hooked in but yeah that's all that and that's all the books I have currently read um let's go on to the books that I'm in the middle of so the second book that I actually started was last year Christmas time um which I actually vlogged a bit during like vlogmas um of, and I've talked about this book and that which I started it and then I kind of stopped <laughs> after a while of reading it um I say a while after like a small amount um and then never picked it up again because it was like a Christmas one so next <laughs> this year christmas time i'm gonna need to start reading it again 
and it's the Christmas wedding guest. I don't know what it was that made me put it down um, and then stopped reading it. But yeah, this is by Susan Mallory. I also forgot to say the Until I Met You was by Amber Rose Gill and that. So yeah, there's that one and that. But yeah, so this was actually the second one that I started reading. My bookmark is still in it. I'm on page 26. So I didn't get that far into it. <laughs> Um, it's also quite a big book and it's actually quite heavy um, but yeah I started reading it and then just never really finished and that so this is a book that I need to read in December um, maybe like November December time <laughs> to get me into the Christmas spirit um, even though I love Christmas anyway but yeah I don't know what it was about it. I think it was just slow getting into anything. Um, but yeah, I'm still on like the person being at home, I think, before. Oh, I'm on chapter two, part way through chapter two. That, but yeah before even doing any like wedding events or anything starting it was i just stayed on to being at home and finishing work kind of thing the part of it and then i stopped but yeah so this i definitely need to start picking up again to read the one that i'm currently on is there is someone inside your house um i'm not even halfway through this i was meant to be halfway through this um by yesterday of me filming this which was the 26th um of august i was meant to be halfway through this but i'm not there's nothing there's this one by stephanie Perkins um just, I've got nothing against this book I just was busy doing other stuff while trying to read this um as well but yeah I need to actually read some more of it when I've got time um because in the evenings I just end up going on TikTok instead of reading so I need to start reading more in the evening um but yeah I've got this one which I'm currently going through and now all the books that I have got to read. Um, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> so I've got more than the twelve that I need to read this year. So I've got enough books for this year. So I might just not buy any more books this year until next year. But yeah, anyway one that i got is the woods are always watching by stephanie stephanie perkins um yeah i thought sh since i'm reading there's someone inside your house why not try reading the woods are always watching which is also one of her books um which is her newest book i think um so yeah i thought why not this this is also like a crime kind of one and this is the first crime book i've read so yeah there's also that um which might also be why it's taken me somewhat a while to read um because normally a romance one i can read like that um because i'm really into romance books so yeah i'm also love murder mystery stuff as well so i'm trying to get into like the crime stuff as well but yeah so there's also this one so i'm gonna read this one after i'm currently reading my, the one i'm reading now and that is so that and then my mum actually just got me this book from being away is the pretty little liars one by sarah sarah shepherd um <coughs> i've watched 
Pretty Little Liars. I've watched like the Ravenwood, Ravenswood. What's it called? Yeah, Ravenswood. The Raven. Because there's Rosewood, which is where they live, and then there's like that Raven one, which I want to say is Ravenswood, or or something like that. Um, I can't really think off the top of my head. There was like a spin-off like kind of TV series of that. Um, which I ended up seeing on BBC iPlayer. So I decided to watch that. Um, because I found that while trying to fa- while um, looking up the Pray A Little Lies original Sin. Um, which I found. So I watched the Raven one. Which mainly has like Caleb in and someone else which is actually kind of in the middle which them episodes are kind of in the middle of some seasons in this in the normal pretty little lies like series um but yeah so then i also watched the original sin and that but yeah so my mum found (coughs) this and this is just the original book I think this is actually the book was this book written before the series come out or bound to be I'm not sure but yeah so even though i know what's gonna happen um because it it says now a major tv series television series at the top so i'm guessing this was written before the show came out um but yeah i actually rewatched the series not that long ago so yeah this is awesome to be able to read this and that so i got that and then (laughs) Um, I've got How to Kill Your Family <laughs> um, by Bella Mackey. Um, I kept seeing this everywhere. Like, I saw it come up on... I can't remember if I saw it come up on TikTok, actually. Um, but I know it came up on my Amazon all the time while I was putting books into my book wish list. Um, and then I think I saw some people on YouTube with the book Um, I think I'm not 100% sure on that one but every time I felt like every time I went on Amazon I would always see this pop up on my recommended now or on like my homepage on Amazon of random things um, that they're trying to sell you Um, so I was like you know what I'll put it in my book wish list and then I ended up buying it um so yeah <laughs> i've got this book now um and mm, i can tell you now my sister is not too pleased <laughs> with this book <laughs> that i have but yeah i have that and then on to a massive series that i have which is the shatter me series which i got all bar two of the books on tiktok um i think it was the imagine me and believe me that i got on amazon because i didn't get them in the series collection on tiktok um but yeah so i've got the Shatter Me book by I'm not going to even try to pronounce that because I know I'm going to say it wrong um, also don't mind the one sticker on the book um, that is my doing um, so yeah I also have a blank piece of card which I need to write the series and all the stuff on it um, but yeah which is also cool because they have it in order at the bottom. That also contains mature content. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. So 
I got this, so I've got the Chateau Me one and that, which I'm actually excited to read. And then I've got the Unravel Me, which is really thick. So it might take me a while to read some of these. And then I've got Ignite Me. Um, and then Restore Me. And that. I actually really like the cover of these because they're actually quite cool because they've got the eye but they're all different which is actually really cool they're all joined by the eye and then yeah and then defy me <coughs> and then you can tell this one is one of the new ones because I haven't put a stick on it yet Oh, I'm dying. Sorry about that. Imagine me. And that, and that is all like the thick books. And then I've got like the thinner books of Unite Me. Find Me and Believe Me. Shadow Me and Reveal Me are the Chateau Me no Noelles. Novellas. Have I even got Shadow Me? I don't think I do. So, yeah, there's them. I might actually have to get Shadow Me and reveal me for the Novellas of this. Um which I could technically put after this one um, and that but yeah so they are all the books I own currently um, later on down the years I might um, we film, film this again with any new books I get or whatever but yeah for now these are all the books I have um, what, there's 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, like romance and kind of ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31 books so far, and that, but yeah, so these are all the books I own, um, at the moment I'm putting them in um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now I'm putting them in author um, alphabetically the author's last name um, and then trying to put like the um, so it's like that so this is the start and then putting the series in order as well um, this is the end and it goes into me, my thing. So it's starting from left, yeah, left to right in my wardrobe. Um, but yeah, and then all my other ones just get piled up on the side of the ones that I need to read. And then also... <laughs> I have this little reading box which currently have my headphones and my two remote controls for my TV in which store the books that I'm currently in the middle of reading in which go in the back like this and that which goes down by my bed um so yeah that was the video and all my books I hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye